Hi everybody, welcome to Life Elite Fitness. Today we are going to be talking about 10 things to get rid of. So we're stepping into spring, it's time for spring cleaning, and these are just great ideas as far as where to start, things to be looking for as you're getting rid of things that are really not benefiting you. start with is one that I'm definitely guilty of and that is you should get rid of any clothes that are ripped worn out or uncomfortable uncomfortable is like the big one for me is I'll hold on to clothes that I'm like well they're perfectly good but the fact is they're uncomfortable and I never want to wear them so getting rid of old shoes like jeans that don't fit right things that are stretched out um, and then especially clothes that are just ripped and worn out doesn't matter if uh, the clothes you have if they're not serving you Time to get rid of them. Doesn't matter if they're super nice clothes. If you're not wearing them, no benefit. So next one here, this one's kind of a new issue that people are dealing with that me and Madison have struggled with, and that's all the cardboard. So when you're having, you know, things from Amazon brought to you, you have uh, your dog food being shipped to you or whatever else it may be, we go through a lot of cardboard. And it's one of those you don't sometimes know what to do with it or how to handle it. And one thing that's worked for me is we have a place pretty close that recycles cardboard. So I literally have an area that I keep my cardboard for about, usually about a month. And then once a month, I'm taking that out and, and recycling. Yeah, a lot of times people hold on to like those boxes and stuff from Amazon thinking like, oh, maybe if somebody moves or I might use this for something. And it's like, honestly, you won't. And most of the time, if you need boxes at that point, you'll probably have boxes available because you just bought stuff on Amazon or anything like that. So you don't need to store all the cardboard boxes that you like accumulate. So that's a really easy one to get rid of. All right, number three is old devices. And this one is like one I really didn't realize was as big of a problem until I started spring cleaning and I realized we have so many like old headphones, old cell phones, tablets. Like I found like an old Palm Pilot and like it's like doesn't even turn on so there's a ton of stuff like that that you can just get rid of there's tons of places to recycle things like that responsibly um gazelle is a really great one that buys back old computers especially if you have like an old macbook or something like that that might still actually be able to turn on and stuff they'll recycle it and um apple takes a lot of their stuff back so um just try to re recycle responsibly but old devices are definitely one you can get rid of because you're not going to use them again like i guarantee you will not use them again so now we're going to move on to the kitchen kitchen. This is a big issue that uh, we've gone through as far as trying to figure out how to get rid of these. Not how to get rid of them, but like why you should get rid of them. Chipped mugs and plates, uh, any kitchenware. Um, people have tons of mugs. We used to have tons of mugs and really they're just clutter. Um, I know some people like their collections of mugs and stuff and it's super cute, but at the same time if there's a chipped mug, at the same point, you just get rid of it. You're not gonna use it. You know you avoid it anyways in the kitchen. Same thing with bowls and glasses. If it if it's anything worn or down or needs to be replaced, you know, it's okay. We can let it go. Number five is plastic cups from restaurants. So a lot of restaurants will give you a plastic cup that you can reuse every time you're there. Um, but a lot of times we forget to bring them and we just accumulate all of these like cups. I know like Fuzzy's restaurant does it and like Dickie's barbecue and things like that. So it's like you get these cups and then it's you never use them when you're at home because it's like I want to use an actual glass if I'm at home. So you just have all these plastic cups. So if you're not going to actually reuse it, let's say you went to like Dickie's for lunch and you're never going to eat there again. Um, a lot of times you can just give the cup to somebody you know who likes to eat there. Um, other than that, it's like just throw it away or recycle it because they're just taking up space in your cabinets. And it happens a lot with sporting events. You yeah. Go, you go to an event or you go to a concert and they have a plastic cup. It's like, okay, it's cool, but yeah. no, it's a plastic cup. Just Time to go. Yeah. The next big one is in the closet, all the worn out coats. Uh, there's a point where you have these coats and you think, oh, well, I'm going to use it as a, a work coat or this is the coat that I changed my oil in or whatever. Honestly, it gets to a point where it's time to get rid of it. 
and there are a lot of people out there that can benefit by you getting rid of it. If you're willing to donate it, uh, a lot of people need coats out there. A lot of times we just get new coats with new seasons and you'll have a coat that you've worn for like a couple of seasons and it's just a little bit worn out. Like it's perfectly good, but it's just a little bit worn out. And like your homeless shelter will take it, Salvation Army, Goodwill, there's a ton of places that will um, take coats. A lot of times like your local church, things like that will take coats as well. So um, definitely give it away. This is a great one if you have kids too. So if your kids grow out of their coats, there's no reason to hang on to those um, just donate them because a lot of or like swap with friends if you have friends who have kids that are younger than yours you can give them the coats and that'll save them a lot of money number seven is extra kitchen devices or appliances so a lot of times you'll have um, like you'll accumulate devices over time so for instance you might have a rice cooker you might have a, like an air fryer you might have an instapot and realistically oh, and like a crock pot that's another one like you might have all these devices and realistically you don't actually need all of them the Instapot has actually replaced a ton of appliances. The only thing I think it can't do is like air frying. So an air fryer might still be one that you keep, but you can honestly, if you have a rice cooker and an Instapot, you don't need both. And if you if you have like a slow cooker and Instapot, there's like a place for both of them, but at the same time, maybe you have more than one crock pot. And honestly, you can just use your larger crock pot for even your smaller meals. You don't need to have a small one and a big one. There's another uh, common one that's occurred is you keep these old pots and pans I know I'm guilty of this with all the college stuff that I had and I would be like, oh, well, it's still good. Like I can just hold on to it. And when we got married, we got pots and pans for our wedding. And at the same time, it's like, okay, really, why are you holding on to all these old pots and pans? It's time to go. Yeah, especially the ones you know that are like cheap and like the handles wiggly or like they always like it has like the like non-stick part is like chipping or whatever. And this might be a good time to even invest in quality products. So for instance, if you have a lot of worn out pots and pans that you don't like, maybe it's time to donate all of those and then go buy like a nice cast iron skillet that you only need like one of, or um, you know, a new big like pot for cooking pasta or things like that. So this is a good time to also kind of take stock of what you have. And if you really hate something you have, get rid of it and get yourself something nice that you'll use. Number nine is chewed up pet toys. And this could also work for like any used old children's toys. So um, in our house, our dogs have a lot of toys. We always get them Christmas presents and things. And over time, they just kind of get gross and stinky. They'll take them outside. They have bones that are kind of worn out and that they just don't use anymore. And these are not only just an eyesore, but like they just have a lot of germs and things on them. So you can invest in higher quality products. So like no Kong toys and things like that are really high quality or get your kids toys that are like made of like wood and things like that that are a little bit easier to clean as opposed to a lot of like stuffed animals and things like that that are going to just get like worn out and gross. The last one cleaning up is things that are missing their mate. Uh, things that come in pairs that you don't know where the other one went off to. It's time to let it go. <laughs> so a lot of times we'll see this with to-go mugs. Uh, sometimes their lid disappear. Um, at the same time you see it all the time with socks. Dryers eat socks. They disappear. <laughs> You can hold on to it for a little bit, but eventually the sock is just gone. And it's okay to throw its mate away. One thing that he actually came up with that I really like is we have a um, old like shoe box on top of our dryer. And so if we're missing a sock where it's like, we know we like you know we fold the laundry we can't find this one sock we'll put it in there and so if we find it we know like oh, okay it's in that bin and so we'll go through it every so often and check and see if we can find mates to everything um, because over time you know you find single socks and you put them in there and a lot of times they'll be in there together but after a while it's kind of just time to get rid of them if you can't find the mate it's like move on <laughs> cut your losses and just throw it away so thank you guys so much for watching this video we hope this inspired you to clean up your space we believe that a healthy home is really important to having a healthy lifestyle if your home is minimized and you have a clean space, you're able to really maintain a healthy lifestyle. So we think that's super, super important. So we hope this inspired you. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. We make new videos every single week. So you won't want to miss any of them. And we will see you guys in our next video. All right. See you guys later.